Hi, and thank you for joining this short video on a true shift left approach to API security. My name is Renny Shen. I'm a director of product marketing here at Checkmarks, and I'm going to take us through the API security challenge and benefits and solution. But before we get there, we have to talk about the growth in APIs. Now, if you're a developer or you're a security team or you're an application owner, none of this will be surprising. You know that your use of APIs is growing, right? In its State of the API Economy report, Google Cloud found last year that 57% of web applications are now powered by APIs. That's the majority of web applications out there. Not only that, but the number of API applications actually increased 53% year over year. Probably not very surprising if you know anything about your applications. Similarly, Postman in its 2021 State of the API report reported that 49% of developers said that over half of their organization's development effort is spent working on APIs. So more APIs and more time spent developing those APIs, clearly there's something um, that we have to pay attention to. Now, the reason why we care is because of API security, right? We care about protecting those APIs as they're being developed, as they're being pushed to production, making sure they don't become a new vehicle through which attackers can exploit our applications. What you see now is a very simplified view of an application architecture that's API based. You have users on the left accessing the application through multiple layers of security and network devices. You've got a web application firewall to inspect that API traffic for things like SQL injections and cross site scripting. You have an API gateway to prevent, uh, provide, uh, perform authentication and authorization. You have load balancer to load balance traffic between multiple APIs of the same service. And then finally, in the back, you have your API-based application. Now, when you think about this from an API security perspective, what you have here are documented APIs and non-documented APIs. When I'm, what I mean when I say documented APIs are those APIs for which the developer teams have provided AppSec or application security with API documentation files, things like RAML files or Swagger files or open API files. These files are the ones that describe what an API is, what does it look like, where does it live, what parameters does it have, and things like that. This documentation is also what's needed by a WAF or an API gateway to configure protections for individual APIs. So there we see WAFs and API gateways can only protect what they know about, right? You have to configure them per API to protect that API. What that means is that if you don't give AppSec that API documentation, AppSec can't configure the WAFs or gateways to protect those APIs. And as a result, most organizations out there have a lot of what we call shadow APIs and zombie APIs. Now, shadow APIs are by definition APIs that you don't know about, right? They're out there, they're in the shadows. You know they exist. But because you don't have that documentation, you don't know where they are, you don't know what they do, all you, you can't protect them. However, they're a problem because attackers can't. Zombie APIs are a little different, right? You might have, when we talk about zombie APIs, we talk about a situation where you might have had a frontline API that was in production for a little while. Think about maybe version one of your login API. You update your application, uh, update the login service, you have a new API, version two. But you can't get rid of version one, you're deprecating it, you're directing traffic to version two, but you can't get rid of version one because you got to take time to migrate all your users over to version two. And then eventually you forget about version one and you thought you got rid of it, you thought you deprecated it, but it's still out there. The problem there is if that zombie API still has vulnerabilities that you didn't know about that can be exploited, well, it might be exploited and you wouldn't know about it because it's a zombie API that you're not paying attention to anymore. Now, WAFs and gateways can't protect against that kind of threat. There, however, have been new types of API threat protection solutions that have entered the market in recent years to help with that. Now, that what these API discovery solutions or threat protection solutions do is they integrate with your WAFs and your gateways and your load balancers and other network devices. They integrate with these devices. They analyze the traffic logs. They find um, by analyzing the traffic, all of the API endpoints that that traffic is going to. So basically, they discover the APIs by looking at your live traffic going through these devices. Now, that's great. It certainly helps the problem, but it doesn't actually solve the problem. Why not? So you can even see here that these solutions are great because they can help, but they can only find 
uh, APIs that are sitting behind the devices that they're analyzing or that they're integrating with, that they have traffic going through that they're analyzing, right? So think about your own environments. How many of you have a uh, single choke point in your application infrastructure that you can integrate with and see all of the API traffic in your environment? Probably not very many of you. And it's increasingly rare in this age of composable or microservices based applications where you might have a microservice here, a microservice there, might have another microservice on another cloud platform. You have distributed developer teams that are spinning up new microservices every day and putting them in different places. This kind of solution is really unsustainable over the long term. Again, it can help, but it probably is not a long term solution to the problem. Now, what Checkmarks does is that we offer a true shift left approach to API security. Now, what do I mean when I say true shift left? What I mean is you probably heard the term shift left before. It means shifting left in the software development lifecycle, addressing problems sooner in the software development lifecycle where it's easier to fix, faster to fix, and lower cost to fix. The problem is everybody says they're shift left. WAFs say they're shift left, which is really interesting because they're sitting in front of uh, production APIs. API threat protection solutions say they're shift left, which is again interesting because they're analyzing traffic to those live production APIs and those live production APIs are on the far right hand side of this chart. What Checkmark does is we really do shift left. That's why we say true shift left. We're going as far left as we can. We actually have solutions that help train developers to um, securely code your web applications and APIs. But in this particular case, we're talking about that, but we're really talking about discovering APIs in the source code. Instead of relying on API documentation being provided to you by your developers, what we're doing is while we're scanning your application source code with our SAS or static application security testing solution, we're also looking at that code for those annotations that indicate that that code is going to compile in and it to an API. And the reason why that's great is because if there's an API in production, if there's an API in your application, then that API is going to be in your source code. And when we scan the source code, we're going to find it. So starting with code, doing a, taking a true shift left approach, moving all the way down to the left and looking, starting at the source, what that means is we're going to catch all of your APIs before it makes its way to the protect production. We don't have to integrate with network devices. We don't have to analyze live traffic. We can find all your shadow APIs. We can find all your zombie APIs. Shift left to find all of your APIs. Now, how much does this help, right? So you've probably seen these numbers before. These are very common numbers in the industry. Basically, IBM did a survey. What it says is that the cost to fix any software problem in production is 100 times more costly than if you fixed it in the design phase and 15 times more than in the coding phase. What that means is that it just behooves you to shift left. If you, can, if you shift left, you fix problems sooner. Obviously, design is best, coding's next best, testing's still better than production. As far left as you can go, it's, you're going to fix problems at lower cost. You're going to fix them faster. You're going to fix them with lower business risk. That is the benefit of shifting left to any degree that you can. And check marks can obviously help you do that. Now, really quickly, four key pillars of the check mark solution. Complete API visibility is the first one. What that means is, again, we're finding all of your APIs by starting at the source. We're scanning your source code and finding your APIs. If it's in the application, it's going to be in the source code. That's how we find all of your APIs and discover an inventory and give you a comprehensive inventory of all of your APIs. We take a true shift left approach by moving all the way out of production. We don't care what happens in production. We're looking at source code, true shift left approach. And then we're going to help you prioritize your remediation of vulnerabilities to those APIs, right? Not only do we give you, um, uh, do we rank uh, vulnerabilities based on severity, high, medium, low severity. We also correlate with other uh, AST solutions like SCA or software composition analysis or uh, other solutions out there. We also now, with the API security solution, also correlate between vulnerabilities and the APIs in which those vulnerabilities are found. So what that means is you can go to your inventory of APIs. If you're a security team, you can find your login APIs or your checkout APIs or the APIs that have real critical business risk. And you can look at the vulnerabilities and you can prioritize for those APIs and you can prioritize remediation there first. So prioritizing remediation based on business value and business risk. But then if we back up, well, another benefit here, another key pillar here is that Checkmarks provides a holistic view into application risk. What that means is, is that we're talking here today about API security, 
But when you think about implementing an AST solution from Checkmarks, it's not just about APIs. Our API security solution is built into our award-winning Checkmarks 1 application security platform, which provides you with that uh, a holistic view into application risk, regardless of what your application looks like. So we'll give surface the risk if it's an API-based application, if it's a non-API-based application, if it's proprietary code, if it's open source code, if it's third-party code, if it's containers, if it's infrastructure as a code, doesn't really matter. We'll scan it all and we'll correlate the findings between the different uh, scanning engines out there and we'll surface that up to you in through a single GUI, single pane of glass, prioritized remediation, shift left approach to give you that holistic view into application risks. That's it for today. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you found something interesting. Uh, if you're uh, interested more, click through on the uh, call to action below or what follows after this, and uh, we'd love to talk to you. Thank you for your time.